Hello, Rover. It's me, Yang Yang. How have you been? Is life in Jinjo treating you well? You know I'm here if you ever need anything. Oh, Yang Yang, what's there to be shy about? If you want to see Rover, just tell him. So, what have you been up to these past few days? Feeling lonely without us around? Want to go see some fireworks? How about some moon shooting? With a festival just around the corner, there's a really cool spot we can take you to. Yes, it'll be the moon chasing festival in a few days. Though we celebrate this festival every year in Huanglong, given everything that has happened, this year's moon chasing festival in Jinzhou is sure to be quite special. Yeah, I caught them hanging lanterns all around City Hall. Every street and alley is going to be glowing. I can't wait to see it all lit up. And we've got special Jinzhou traditions you won't find anywhere else. Like tell you and Vale. Folks go there a few days before the festival to write their wishes onto paper. Then hang them on branches or toss them into Moon Tree Lodge. They say wishes made during these days are sure to come true. Works like a charm. Want to give it a go? All you gotta do is write down your wish. Real simple. Yang Yang, Baija, and I are already here. Great! See you at Talion Vale. Adventures! Come on, let us in on it! So, so you mean that big Mount Firmament thingy that shocked all of Jinzhou? Uh, no, wait! That shocked all of Huanglong? Was it all because of you? Rover <laughs> saves the day yet again! With the Thrinodian defeated, our Sentinel and the Jinjo Magistrate have resumed their duties. Jinjo will have peace and prosperity once more. Yes. A rover? And the Sentinel did give you certain insights about your memory loss. While there's still much to uncover, at least we're on the right track. At long last! We can finally have some fun! Hey, what better time to celebrate than the Moon Chasing Festival, right? You, me, Yang Yang, and Baija, the four of us will have a great time munching on treats and enjoying looking at the full moon. And let's not forget about the Moonlit Fair. It's exclusive to Chin Cho, happening only on the night of the festival. There's so much to eat, drink, play, and see. Wait till I show you the biggest lantern show of the fair. I know a spot that has the perfect view. That's a wonderful idea. Let's enjoy the festival together. I'm sure there'll be plenty of interesting things to pique your interest. Everyone in Jinjo will be there. There's a high chance we'll run into some familiar faces. Then it's a deal. Mark my words. With us around, you'll be in for a moon-chasing festival you'll remember for life. Shoot, we got so distracted with everything else, I almost forgot about your wish for the wishing tree. It's a huge deal. You won't want to miss it. That's right! Remember what I told you about wishes made under the wishing tree coming true? There are stories of it flying around, especially in recent years. The wishes people make on the eve of the moon chasing festival seem to come true in one form or another. A few years ago, Jin Jo had endless rain. Yang Yang wished for clear skies for the festival and a perfect moonlit fair. And guess what? The rain stopped and the moon was full and bright. Exactly. I thought I'd try my luck, but it actually happened. Perhaps just a pleasant coincidence. The Moon Chasing Festival does have a history of such coincidences. 
Maybe there's something to the Wishing Tree's magic after all. Or maybe there's a mysterious hero inside the Wishing Tree, making our dreams come true. Just like you. You save the world without anyone noticing. If you're not in the next season of Hero Plays, I'm out. All right. Better get to it before we chatter ourselves away again. The Wishing Tree is just up ahead. Off you go. We've already made our wishes. Mine's for the Moonlit Fair to draw in a huge crowd and for everyone to have a fantastic time. As for Yang Yang, she wished for endless happiness and happy reunions for all families. She, uh, eh, she's not really into wishes. Don't mind me. I tend not to make wishes. But if I did, it would probably be similar to Yang Yang's. There! You're the last one left! Oh, and don't forget about Abby. I'm sure the little guy doesn't want to miss out. <sighs> Who's there? What's going on? Make a wish. So tired. Just make one for me. Ugh, I want mm, lots of goodies to eat. Mm, I don't ever want to be hungry again. Yeah. Mm. Well, what did Abby say? Well, after you finished at the wishing tree. Come see us at the Moonlit Fair. Shizia and I will be helping out with preparations. <laughs> I'll be over at Ching Shi's Moon Shooter stall. It's not fully set up yet, but I can give you a sneak peek. Is that a robot? Wishes, wishes. Seems to be malfunctioning. Can't tell who left it here. I should try asking around. Excuse me, have you seen this robot before? Do you know where it's from? It's acting a bit strangely. Uh, it looks like one of those robots from the Moon Tree Lodge. One of its parts must be broken. It's like the wishing well under the wishing tree. People toss their hopes and dreams in there and poof. <laughs> Before you know it, someone makes them come true. You can even say it's part of the wishing tree, but wishes made at the lodge are more public. It's up to the wisher if they want to share. Anyhow, I saw that robot hovering around there earlier. Maybe that's where you should start your... The Moon Tree Lodge. Might as well drop by if it's at the wishing tree. Gotcha. Something seems to have malfunctioned with you. I'll take care of it. One moment. Run onboard diagnostics. Command initiator, Xiang Li Yao. Authentication confirmed. Performing onboard diagnostics. Number 
that Patty's memory is overloaded with wishes, leading to anomalies mixed within them. Wishes. Analyzing cause. 21 solutions have been provided. Correction. 12. Correction. 4. Wishes. And solutions. Could this relate to what Chisha said about someone at Moon Tree Lodge making wishes come true? And Xiang Liao. The name sounds familiar. Perhaps... Isolating abnormal data. Running data correction. There. Give it another go, Patty. Performing onboard diagnostics. All systems normal. Patty feels full. That should do the trick for now. But where could the anomalies have... I apologize for keeping you waiting. It's just a temporary measure. I'll need to conduct a thorough examination later. Thank you for returning him to me. Yes, I've heard a lot about you from my colleagues at the Academy. Many of them are eager to meet you. I hope their enthusiasm hasn't been too overwhelming for you. Xiang Li Yao. A pleasure to meet you. I regret that I was away during your first visit to the Academy, but I'm glad to finally have the chance to meet you. I merely provided a few ideas, but I'm glad I was able to help. I was assisting the Ministry of Development with the damaged surveillance tower. By the time I returned to the lab, you'd already left. The next time I heard any news about you was regarding the battle at the Norfolk Barrens. This year's moon-chasing festival could only have proceeded thanks to your efforts. Well, come to think of it, I should be thanking you personally. The Moon Tree Lodge wouldn't have opened as planned if it weren't for you. Hero? <laughs> it's not as grand as that. It started by trying to help children fulfill their wishes. However, I do hope you can keep that between us. We imagine how disheartening it would be for people to learn their wishes were granted by a single person. I just want to do something within my power to pass on the joy we've all felt at least once in our lives. Seeing everyone's wishes come true and everyone enjoying the festival is enough for me. Fulfilling wishes. Happy! What will you taste like, important guest? Apologies. Patty doesn't mean anything strange by that. Patty was born in the Moon Tree Lodge. It deciphers the emotions behind wishes, analyzing their structure in a unique way. To Patty, every wish has a unique taste. You can think of it as Patty's way of understanding the world. Besides bringing Patty back, I presume you're here to make a wish as well? In that case, may I suggest we head over to the wishing stall for a chat? It's not far from here. Welcome. I, I wish I could extend a warmer greeting, but Patty has run into some technical difficulties. We cannot accept new wishes at Moon Tree Lodge until I resolve the issue. I apologize for the inconvenience. I would be glad to take note of your wish and have it prioritized once everything is resolved. How intriguing. 
In that case, I promise to do everything I can to make your wish a reality at the festival. For now, I must concentrate on restoring the Moon Tree Lodge as quickly as possible. In a nutshell, it appears Patty's malfunction is more than a straightforward data error. At first, I suspected an overload of Patty's analysis module due to an accumulation of wishes over the years. However, during my recent testing, I discovered unusual codes embedded within Patty's database. Like a virus, they spread drastically with the addition of each wish. Additionally, although it was only for a brief moment, I detected abnormal frequency fluctuations after connecting Patty to my terminal. In theory, a robot's data should not generate such fluctuations. It's too early to draw a conclusion just yet, but I can't leave the matter unresolved. It'll only be a matter of time before all the wishes stored in the Moon Tree Lodge are devoured by this abnormal code. I've isolated the four wishes with unreadable codes, pinpointing the source of the discrepancies. I plan to track down whoever made these wishes, try to fulfill them, and uncover the root cause of these anomalies. But before that, I need to try to decode the wishes corrupted by these anomalies. To minimize data loss, it would be best to complete this a week before the Moon Chasing Festival. With careful planning, it does have its challenges, but everyone's hopes and dreams for the festival are in these wishes. I don't intend to let them down. Yes. Yang Yang and the rest have set their hearts on this festival. I appreciate the gesture, but I wouldn't want to trouble you. <laughs> I see. Thank you. Well then, the Moon Tree Lodge welcomes its newest member. Seems we have a new friend now, Patty. You, Shanley, Yao, and Patty, wishes come true. Organize Moonlit Fair. Yes, the lodge opens to the public before the Moonlit Fair, but it still remains an important element of the festivities. The market vendors like to tailor their offerings according to everyone's wishes. There will be many interesting activities on the day of the fair, and preparations are well underway. Perhaps some of your friends will be among those attending. If you're interested, you can go and take a look yourself. analysis. This individual wishes to disappear from this world, indicating a desire to terminate their existence and for all associated social connections to be erased. Feasibility, 0%. Causing physical harm or manipulating human memories are actions strictly prohibited. Uh, this is Shang Li, Paddy's work buddy. Patty gathers and analyzes the wishes, and Shang Li helps make them become a reality. You have a good eye. Shang Li is indeed a very reliable companion. Analysis conclusion. The wish exhibits strong self-denial and self-destructive tendencies indicating a high level of danger. Prompt physical care and psychological intervention are advised. Patty does not understand this wish. Patty does not, cannot hurt humans. Just as I've suspected, this is the reason why this wish failed to be interpreted. 
The desire to disappear directly conflicts with Patty's underlying logic of not being able to harm humans. Written words are different from data. Data represent precise and unified content, while words may harbor meanings deeper than they seem on the surface. It is often the case that words spoken aloud sometimes contradict our innermost thoughts. Those willing to entrust their wishes to the Moon Tree Lodge hope their desires will be chosen and fulfilled. This suggests that Xiao Sheng still hopes for his voice to be heard. This is just my personal belief, but I suspect he's not truly ready to give up. I think the thought pains him. Which means he's... Yes, I believe that is the case. I want to uncover the true desire hidden in his wish and help him fulfill it. Will fulfilling his true wish help to ease his suffering? Yes, I hope it will. We should start by locating the Wisher. If I recall correctly, there is no Shaosheng at the Academy, so it's likely a pseudonym. Fortunately, we know that he's a researcher, so it shouldn't be too difficult for us to find him. And this paper, it's from a type of notebook commonly used at the Academy. There are faint traces of another type of writing on it. it seems to be some kind of code. I'll decipher these codes, and then we can... Uh, oh, uh, excuse me. Investigator Shang Li, we have a problem. We've got trouble in the lab. Prototype 49's core has gone out of control. Emergency protocols failed, and it's overheating as we speak. Lock down the lab. I'm on my way. What about the experiment locks? Already sent to your terminal, sir. All right. Tell everyone to stay calm. We still have time. There's been a momentary setback in the research. I need to handle it right away. I'm afraid I'll have to leave the task of finding Xiaosheng to you. Thank you. I'll meet up with you as soon as I have the issue resolved. Here, take Xiang Li with you to help with the investigation. I already have a few speculations as to the contents of the code. I'll call you once it's confirmed. Good luck, my friend. is confirmed to possess information related to Xiaosheng. Based on the writing style, paragraphing habits, and content of the wish, it can be inferred that Xiaosheng is likely introverted and may exhibit nervousness in public settings, difficulty in communication, and a preference for solitary activities. These characteristics match this individual's behavior. A definitive conclusion cannot be drawn. Master requests that Shang Li avoid making judgments about humans solely based on their external appearances. According to my data analysis, there is a 25.4% correlation between these two individuals. Shang Li proposes you make the decision on whether to proceed.
Wow, what a cute little robot. Would it feel weird to ask if I could do a sketch of it? I'll just do it at a distance once they've walked away. conditions. Detecting a rapid increase in air humidity and a significant drop in air pressure. Data suggests rainfall should be expected within the next few hours, covering 60% of the Jinjo area. Um, uh, that's right. The weather isn't actually all that great. I didn't realize. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't think you mean anything bad. I'm just not very good at talking to strangers, that's all. M my name is Judge. Um, nice to meet you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Wait, hold on. It's not the due date for the Sounds of Spring's Dawn yet. Do you mean to tell me they're changing the requirements again? Speculation. The Shaosheng mentioned by both parties does not appear to be the same individual. Um, excuse me, but is something wrong? Well, someone who goes by the name Xiao Sheng? Maybe a shy researcher? I've never heard of anyone by that name. Sorry, I couldn't help. I, I don't have a wide social circle, mostly just my painting clients. But I'll let you know if I do. You're welcome. I, uh, I'll be on my way then. Goodbye. showed no signs of abnormalities when mentioning the name Xiaosheng. <laughs>